In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, open our lips. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore them. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. In 199, again we keep the solemn fast, a gift of faith from ages past, this Lent which binds us livingly to faith and hope and charity. The law and prophets from of old, in figured ways this Lent foretold, which Christ all ages, Lord and guide, in these last days has sanctified. More sparingly, therefore, let us make the words we speak, the food we take, our sleep, our laughter, every sense, learn peace through holy penitence. Let us avoid each half way that lures the foilless mind astray by watch and prayer our spirits free from scheming of the enemy we pray O blessed three in one our God while endless ages run that this our Lent of forty days may bring us growth and give you praise <coughs> In the evening, let me know your love, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have declared to you for your enemies. Teach me your paths. Your ways are lost for your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the evening let me know your love, O Lord. The Lord will send peace flowing like a river upon Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who moan over her. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend prosperity to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall suck, you shall be carried upon her hip, and dangled upon her knees. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord will send peace flowing like a river upon Jerusalem. <clears throat> to our God be joyful praise. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To our God be joyful praise. A reading from the first book of Kings. We are your people, Lord, and your heritage. Let your eyes be open to the supplication of your servant and to the supplication of your people Israel. Give an ear to, to us whenever we call to you. For you separated us from among all the people of the earth to be your heritage. It is he, he who will free me from the snare of the hunters and from the evil word. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I do not depend on human testimony, says the Lord, but I have said this that you may be saved. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. A saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, for his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High, 
You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I do not depend on human testimony, says the Lord, but I have said this, that you may be saved. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Compassionate Lord, you have chastened us by penance and schooled us in good works. Grant us now a single-hearted perseverance in keeping your commandments and bring us untouched by sin to the joys of Easter. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us safely throughout today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Let heart rejoice who search for the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek always the face of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Good morning, everyone. Once again, we gather to be the Church of Christ. Christ is with us as he promised, present in the assembly of his people, in the proclamation of God's word, and in the communion of his body and blood. As we do not have a priest to celebrate Mass today, let us reflect on the word, pray together, and then together share Christ's body and blood consecrated for us at the previous Mass. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and be truly sorry for them. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. Merciful Father, may the penance of our Lenten observance make us your obedient people. May the love within us be seen in what we do and lead us to the joy of Easter. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now, because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have apostatized. They have been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God Israel, they have cried, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now, my wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. <coughs> but Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Why let the Egyptians say, Ah, oh, it was in treachery that he brought them out, to do them to death in the mountains, and wipe them off the face of the earth? Leave your burning wrath, Relent and do not bring this disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, your servants to whom, by your own self, you swore and made this promise. I will make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven, and all this land which I promised I will give to your descendants, and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O Lord, o Lord remember, remember me out, out of the love you have for your people. 
They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. O oh Lord, Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They forgot <coughs> the God who was their saviour, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O oh oh Lord, Lord, remember me out, out of the love you have for your people. people. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O oh Lord, Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Let us stand for the gospel. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Were I to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But there is another witness who can speak on my behalf, and I know that his testament is valid. You sent a messenger to John, and he gave you his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it was for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light shining, and for a time you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The word of my Father has given me to carry out these same works of mine, testify that the Father has sent me. Besides, the Father who sent me bears witness to me himself. You have never heard his voice, you have never seen his shape, and his word finds no home in you, because you do not believe in the one he sent. <clears throat> you study the scriptures, believing that by them you have eternal life. But now these same scriptures testify to me, and yet you refuse to come to me for life. As for human approval, this means nothing to me. Besides, I know you all too well. You have no love of God in you. I have come to the name of my Father, and you refuse to accept me. If someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you look to one another for approval, and are not concerned with the approval that comes from one God? Do not imagine that I am going to accuse you before the Father. You place your hopes in Moses, and Moses will be your accuser. If you really believed him, you would believe me too, since it was I that he was writing about. But if you refuse to believe what he wrote, how can you believe in what I say? The Gospel of the Lord. How can you believe, since you look to one another for approvals? As Holy Week draws near, our thoughts turn to the trials of Jesus and his condemnation. He was dragged before Pontius Pilate. Charges were levelled against him, but to Pilate's amazement, he did not defend himself. As Matthew tells us, he offered no reply. One painting that captures this moment is Caravaggio, Ecce Humo. Jesus looks resigned, 
but there is a figure in the picture looking not at Jesus but at the viewer as though saying to us what do you think about Jesus the dignified silence of Jesus as his mockery of trial does not mean that we never defend himself in today's gospel he argues forcibly with his accusers he reminds them that John the Baptist who was a ministry they enjoyed had spoken up for him he appeals to the miracles they have witnessed he accuses them of studying the scriptures but missing the point of what they are about testifying to him as the Messiah finally he rounds on them I know you too well he, he you have no love of God in you individually they didn't think for themselves they look for each other for approval they would not step out of line if the authorities of the day and the crowd opposed Jesus and rejected him then that is what they would do however perhaps some of them did wonder this may be why Caravaggio places a questioner in the corner to give us the courage to think and pray and make up our own minds about following Jesus. Father, in our day when so many people are indifferent or hostile to Christian faith, give us the courage to stand up to Jesus and to enlighten all who are questioning and seeking the truth particularly those preparing now for their baptism. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of the church and the world. Remember, Lord, that we are your children. 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 Thank you, Liz. <clears throat> Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what we need to follow faithfully the call of the gospel. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> And for divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, <coughs> you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. And it is offered into the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Soul of my Saviour, sanctify my breast. Body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Saviour, bathe me in the tide. Wash me with water, flowing from thy side. Strength and protection, may thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from thee. Guard and defend me from the foam malign. 
In death's dead moments, make me only thine. Call me and bid me come to thee on high, where I may praise thee with thy saints for I. Let us pray. Lord, may the sacrament we receive cleanse us from our sin and free us from our guilt. For our sins bring us sorrow, but your promise of salvation brings us joy. Make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is ended. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for coming this morning. <coughs>